Hello Wildlings, Colin Stucker here, founder and CEO of Wild Foods Co. Today's video is about our why, it's about our mission, it's about these ideas that are affecting everyone in our society today. And really the concept is fundamentally about our mismatched environment and how we are devolving as a species as a result of all these changes in our environment, the number one being our food supply, which is completely backwards and mismatched to our natural species to, to the human animal and the way we're designed to eat by nature for nature. I mean, we lived in the wild for hundreds of thousands of years before we ever started farming and having cities and money and things like that. Yet now the past 10,000 years, cities and technology has changed everything. It's basically flip flopped. The way we live today is in stark contrast to how we're supposed to live. So what we really need to do is pay attention to this, become aware of it, and then make conscious decisions about the foods we eat, how we live our daily life, how much we sleep, how much light we get, how we go outside, and all these different aspects of human health that are very convoluted for a lot of people. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of dogma. There's a lot of you know celebrities and brands and fitness trainers and Instagrammers and all these people that really profit off of promoting their agenda or or their just their very limited view of of the basics of human health and all all the books that get written, the diet books, the guides, the courses, you know. There are a lot of people when it comes to health and nutrition that make their entire living off of promoting some specific agenda or point. And a lot of times it is not something that has your best interest in mind or it's not sustainable or it's really completely and utterly wrong and out there and not based on reality or fact at all. And so we want to spread awareness on these ideas so that we can help make things better, help wake you up so you can live a long and healthy life, and then you can help your family and your children, et cetera, so that we can then reverse the trend that we have in our in our culture. I mean, we were quite literally devolving with a 40% plus obesity rate, 60 to 70% of Americans are overweight. This is to astronomical proportions. This isn't a subsect anymore. This is literally becoming the rule rather than the exception. In fact, fit, healthy people are, even just lean people are now the exception rather than the rule and that is again a result of our environment so we need to, we need to wake up and we need to do something about it before it's too late let's get to it if you don't know much about us or what we believe we believe in creating conscious consumers and our wild mission is to help 50 million people say no to big pharma bad science and nutrition dogma things that are keeping our country fat sick and dying in early death food nutrition all these different things they're is an education element to it, which is why we're always focused on trying to just make our customers, make our followers better, more enlightened, more conscious. It's just gonna make everything better. It's gonna make our society better. It's going to increase the likelihood that you and people around you will improve their health and take these things seriously because we are devolving at a, at a ever rapid pace and if we continue on this trajectory, if you look at the obesity epidemic and you look at just the declining health in our in our country, and a lot of industrialized countries around the world are following this trend because they're getting industrialized food and technology and all these things. Well, if we continue on this path, I mean, there's going to be a very small percentage of the population that is going to be thin and, and, and be able, and able to survive in our current environment. And there's going to be a, the majority of the humans that aren't, that are going to get diabetes, heart disease, cancer, and are going to die sooner than they should, which is going to reduce the likelihood they have kids. They're also going to pass along those genes to their children that are more likely to do the same thing. And, you know, I, I really hate to say it, but it's like that is basically survival of the fittest playing out with a two divergent species. You have homo sapiens sapiens, what we are, but you have one side of p people that are evolving, you know, the, those that can, can say no to all the, the food, the junk, and the different things that can live in accordance with their genes while living in our modern world that can choose better food options. They're going to be the ones that evolve and then pass along those genes to their, their children, then go on and on and on, increasing the likelihood that they survive. And then on the end, this other, other end of the spectrum, you have those that are going to pass along those bad genes that are making the bad decisions and that are having the bad health and, and just more susceptible to health complications in the future to their children, which is going to just get worse and worse and worse with, with each successive generation. This stuff is a big deal. Uh, I think if Darwin came back today, he would be shocked to see natural selection happening uh, so at such a rapid pace to his own species. <laughs> and, you know, it's just some, it's, people don't talk about it. 
You know, people don't talk about it. They, they think, oh, I'll start my diet next year or, or it's not that bad. I'm only 20 pounds overweight or whatever. Like, you know, because there are so many people that are, that are struggling with these problems. You have this whole like anti-fat shaming thing, which I'm all for not shaming people, but I'm also not for sugarcoating things and being around the bush when people need to wake up and realize that having a 20, 30 extra pounds, even if you feel comfortable in your own skin, doesn't mean that your long-term health is going to be okay. Even if you're okay with it, Right. There is just a certain, there's certain mechanisms that keep the human being a relatively lean creature, uh, aside from when, you know, females are pregnant, then things get a little bit different. But even then, you know, pregnant women don't need to gain as much weight as a lot of them do because a lot of pregnant women, and I know this is a tangent, but I feel passionate about, passionate about this. We just had our first child and a lot of women, or at least culture has built this idea that like, oh, you're pregnant, you can, you're eating for two. So you can just like eat whatever you want and, and, and eat junk food and grains and binge on your cravings and all this stuff. And it's like, no, absolutely not. In fact, the fact that you're having a child and you're fueling that child with the things you put in your body should, should make you even stricter with the food you're eating. You should not be feeding it toxic foods and sugars and, and all these things. So tangent, I know this video is supposed to be about the wild foods guide to coffee, but it's actually more about the uh, devolution of our species, the devolving of our species. In fact, I think I'm going to have to save the video for the coffee guide the next video. Let's just let's just finish up on this a little bit. And so to learn more about kind of what we what we think about this topic, I highly recommend you check out wildmission.co which will redirect you to our free Living Wild presentation. And, you know, we'll get into a little bit about our why, our story, things like that. You can kind of cycle through it. Uh, the Wild Way talks about our sourcing and our manifesto. Uh, the ancestral point of view is a really good read. I highly recommend that because it, it, it will give you an idea of the first principles uh, that direct what we believe, but also really what the basics of, of, of the optimal human animal are. Because, again, humans are animals. We are homo sapiens sapien. We are not some evolved creature that doesn't have to pay attention to the laws of nature. We are a part of nature. And I know a lot of us get hubris and think that we aren't because we happen to drive cars and have a consciousness, but we are still animals. <laughs> and if you look to our evolutionary past, you can see that. So understanding where we came from helps you best live today, helps you avoid the mismatch concept, which is what this talks about here. And this is a really great section of the slide. It's the 10 principles, uh, the 10 first principles, of human health based on biology and our ancestral past. And then it gets into, you know, a little bit, just a, just a light touch onto each one, like real food, sleep, movement, nature, intermittent fasting, uh, being social because humans are social creatures. Self-awareness is a bonus principle. It's kind of more something for everyday life. If you want to be successful, if you want to understand why you, you repeat the same mistakes, if you want to evolve your thinking and evolve your life and become a better person, you have to be self-aware. Last bonus principle number eight, action bias. Again, for a modern world, if you want to be successful and get things done, you have to take action. You cannot let the environment control you. You have to be a conscious consumer. You have to be a conscious action ta taker. Otherwise, the environment around you is built to profit off of you being sick. It's built to get you addicted to foods. It's built to make you not want to go to the grocery store or move or do anything because the food can be delivered to you. And it's basically built the exact opposite for what your genes are designed for. We are designed to move a lot. We are designed to be outside a lot. I mean, we're outside all the time, I should say. And we're designed to constantly be in search of food, uh, mates, shelter, things like that. And our modern environment has basically removed that from the equation completely. And as a result, we don't move, we lay around, we stay in fixed positions. You know, we binge watch Netflix, we eat junk food out of a package. We have just basically lost our wildness and we need to get back to that as much as possible. This is a very brief intro to this topic. This is a topic that I could talk about for a very long time. And I highly recommend you check out some more resources. It'll be linked below, but also uh, just go to wildmission.co and read over our, our free wild presentation that I created just to basically introduce you to some of these ideas and get you thinking about them. Because while we are a CBG company, we sell you know supplements and foods, we are focused on education and enlightening people. That's really why we do what we do. We just happen to sell really great ingredients that we use ourselves. And if you are interested in some of those, you can find those at wildfoods.co. Use code WILDCEO for 12% off your entire order. If you don't, at least take some of these ideas and implement them in your life. That 
matters to us more than anything. Because then when you get results, you can then take that knowledge and you can take it to your friends, your family, your spouse, your siblings, your children, whatever. And if we do this enough, if we spread these ideas enough, we can literally change the world for the better. And if we don't do this, the way the numbers are already going, we have not reversed the trend. We are losing right now the battle to our environment. So let's take it back into our own hands. Let's take control and let's reverse that trend. We have the technology, we have the resources, we have the information now. We need to share this stuff. We need to get people on board. We need to get people out of their trance, get them out of the matrix. They're just plugged into a matrix, get them, get them off the big food, off the medications, off our totally messed up healthcare system and get back to nature and live long, freaking awesome lives and help everyone around us do the same thing. My name is Colin Stuckard. I approve this message and thank you for watching.